Is it to score 10 runs in, any, in this day and age without hitting a home run? Uh, I didn't even think about that, Kamish. It's, uh, it's hard to get tour, score 10 runs in an inning hitting a home run. Um, you know, but uh, just great at bats. Relentless, you know, guys came out obviously ready to get going. Just kind of speaking of those at bats, how, how different was the game plan or the approach to Fulty this time around versus? Um, the not, not totally different. You know, we talk about making sure that we were, you know, we knew he's going to throw sliders, but fact of the matter is we just need to get pitches we could do some do something with you know we knew we were going to be intentional not that we had to go the other way we want to stay in the middle of the field not try to do too much um and you know we clearly demonstrated we were able to do that mike 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 over here what's the feeling in the dugout as those runs keep piling up in the first inning and how difficult did it it, it was it to stay kind of in the moment knowing that you still have yeah, not a, to go. well, first of all, it's like, you know, never enough runs, man. Just keep eating, boys, you know, keep going. And uh, which they did, you know, I love the fact we had it on after that and the next couple innings as well. <laughs> you know, as far as that goes, you know, this is a very present group, you know, just kept kept right there, you know, pitch to pitch, keep playing the game, you know, keep taking, keep, keep getting outs off, you know, off that, off that board, you know, keep putting up zeros. And I really appreciate the job Jack did. Um, you know, it's not pitching in this game anyway, but, you know, he probably had to change his mindset just a hair, you know, going in there with, expecting a, you know, game five, you know, tooth and nail game. And, you know, we get staked to a big lead and, and um, yeah, you know, but still it's game five and it's Jack, so he's never going to let off the gas regardless. So did a great job for us. Right here in the front. Mike, I, I know that nobody expects to come out and score 10 runs right off the bat in a playoff game, game five, especially. In the other dugout, they were saying it was happening very quickly. I was just curious from your perspective, was it happening quickly or was it happening slowly in, in your mind? It was just really pretty much happening. Uh, there wasn't any real speed to it either way. Um, you know, just staying with it, staying, staying in the in the moment, making sure we were taking good at bats, making sure if we had any opportunities to do something offensively that we were staying in tune with it. In the back, uh, <clears throat> on the riser. Mike, two-parter with that first at-bat with Dexter. Um, I mean, the first time you guys saw Fulty, he didn't really walk a lot of guys. I mean, uh, just that at-bat by Dexter, but also, too, I mean, did that kind of just set the tone for you guys that maybe he wasn't going to be as on command as he was in that first one? Yeah, you know, that's a, that was an indicator. Of course, a guy can, you know, change. But, you know, Dex getting on, starting starting that um, first with a walk, working a walk, which he did. He worked that. And um, you know, at that point, you go, okay, here we go. One. And the second part? Yeah, I don't know. You know, listen, he was he was um, as good as anybody who we faced, you know, outside of maybe Darvish um, towards the end of the year in the last outing. So he was just painting with everything he did, and, and just uh, we were able to get a, a few more balls we could handle and put good swings on him.